Singapore's poor Olympics performance, an undesirable outcome. It is truly unfortunate that none of the 23 athletes we had sent to the Summer Olympics held in Tokyo managed to bring home a medal. This does not mean that Singapore has no chance of getting medals next time round. After all, during the last Summer Olympics held in Rio de Janeiro in 2016, Joseph Schooling won a gold in the 100m butterfly. Furthermore, many small nations surpassed us. For instance, Bahamas, Fiji and Bermuda, all of which are countries with less than a million in population each, managed to win golds. Another good comparison would be New Zealand, which has a similar population to us, but soundly beat us with 7 golds, 6 silvers and 7 bronzes in the back. Additionally, there were even some unrecognized states which performed better, much better than us. They include Chinese Taipei, which is uh, Taiwan, uh, which obtained two golds, four silvers, and six bronzes, along with Hong Kong, uh, Chinese territory, which attained one gold, two silvers, and three bronzes. Lessons to be learned. Singapore should learn from medal-winning countries and implement certain changes here to help us reclaim our past successes. Firstly, we must develop the sports ecosystem here, reforming it into one which can readily identify talent among students. Oftentimes, what stops us is not a lack of talent, as even smaller nations are able to outperform us, but rather because insufficient resources have been poured into properly selecting and vetting candidates. Second, we should make training, coaching, and mentoring programs for talented students absolutely free, instead of forcing them to pay out of pocket as we currently do. Many potential athletes give up on their dreams when they realize how much sporting education costs. Lastly, we should increase our society's emphasis on sporting excellence, providing proper financial support for athletes to permit them to continue pursuing their passions. Many athletes who are eligible for the Olympics have to take up part-time jobs to supplement their income, eating into their training schedules. It is also important to remember to support our athletes who put in the effort to compete in the Olympics, regardless of their performance as they definitely need more than just material assistance.